This is a flush door from a built-in wardrobe. There's about six or seven of them to be painted. I'm going to show you how to get a professional finish on here in the quickest amount of time for using the right tools. So this brush, little round brush, paint in your paint kettle. Just load up the brush just to the bottom because in a minute I'm going to use a roller but my roller won't reach right down here in these little corners. So I'll just use a brush for that little bit. I'm going to fix that. Here's my roller. This is what I'm going to use. Load it up a little bit just to do the edges first of all. Get a nice even coat all the way down. Covering all of the area. And I've got a beautiful even coat. Do the top. Same thing. There's enough paint on this roller without having to load it up again, which means put more paint on it. There's enough to do all the sides in one go. And I've got a beautiful even finish on there. That's great. Then load up again and do the door, the face of the door. Start in a dry area and spread it to the edges so there's not too much paint on the edges because if there was, it could bleed over and get what's called a fat edge, a big bead of paint that you don't want on there. So start in a dry area and spread it into the other areas, the edges. Load up again. Start in a dry area. This is now effectively section two. The first section is section one. This is section two. I'm pushing the paint from section two to join in with section one. And my final one, I'm gonna lay off from the area that I've just done into the previous area. So I'm doing what I keep telling you on every other video, lay off, whoosh, and take off like a little aeroplane to avoid chewy marks all across there. Section three, start in a dry area, push it out to the edges, like bare areas. Section three joins back into section two. And what is it? Lay off. Whoosh, up, that way. This is just to make sure I don't get any roller marks where number three, section three, joins section two. Chances are I wouldn't, but because it's doors that the client will look at every day, I'm not going to risk it. So I could just leave it like that, but I can faintly see where my roller ended there. So I'll just lay it off. It's a bit like mowing the lawn. Don't want the stripes go in the same direction on every row if you do want the stripes you go one way back down the other way up the other way but when you paint you don't want that effect so you lay your paint off as it's called so right now i'm just applying the paint and now i'm laying off I'm going from my section i've just been in into the previous one you normally use the term laying off with a brush when you're laying off brush marks but it's the same with a roller. Excellent.